On November 21, 2021, law enforcement officers responded to a disturbance call at a residence regarding loud domestic disputes. The caller informed authorities that an intoxicated woman was vehemently shouting without apparent cause, disturbing the peace of the surrounding community. The incident prompted a swift response from officers to assess and address the disruptive situation, ensuring the safety and tranquility of the neighborhood. I, just, I cannot stop her from hurting Hurt herself, herself or getting out into the cold yep. without physically restraining her. What got broke? It's fan. I'm not worried. It got broke. Yep. I just want to keep her safe. I don't know if that means she needs to go to the hospital. She's throwing up on the floor. She's throwing up out. I don't know if it's to the level of alcohol poisoning. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, if he's puking, that's, that's what that is. It just, I just. Yeah, it's been, we're trying to keep you. Know, he's like, he's been here, you know, that he's been here. Is that, that's, is that necessary? Okay, yeah, it is necessary. You have to listen to it again. Okay, baby. The official received numerous calls from the community regarding a disruptive domestic dispute. Upon arriving at the residence, the officer observed a man standing there. The officer sought to understand the features of the situation and questioned the man about the disturbance. You, you, do that you don't do that to him twice. You didn't do that to me twice. It doesn't need to be done to him tw twice. Is that like, is a drama for him? Because if, Madison, if, shut it's, up, if it's necessary for him twice, please. can you just go? Or you need no to one twice? is. No one is not on your side here. He's obviously not. No, they're He's not. Obviously they're not. not. They're not. Obviously not. Maybe. Can we go, or do y'all just want to listen to it? Is it just fun for you to listen to? Or do we want to go? You're just not paying attention to me. It's like I'm not here. It's like this Madison. is Madison. Okay, I'm not going to listen. Keep an eye on her, please. I'm not going to listen. I don't think so. Do you need my idea again? No, we got you already. You got any marks or bruises on you? No, I'm okay. fine. I, I'm care I get it. I get it. Just, Keep her safe. I want to make sure she is physically. Is she keep mad. drinking when we left or something? No. And to be fair, I don't think she had an exuberant else. amount of alcohol at the party. We bought a 12 pack of Bud Light. I know we finished that. That was split between two people. She maybe at most drank eight or ten of this, which I understand is a lot. It is, it is going to. It's a lot. It's mm -hmm. going to make anybody intoxicated. I don't know if it's just because the medicine that she has a prescription that she's on, it's maybe interacting. it's a new, it's a higher dose than when she, maybe it didn't interact well with alcohol. It's probably the first time she drank this much since. I don't know. Clear. I just cannot keep her safe without physically. Without stopping her from leaving. Without stopping her from leaving. Yeah. Um, I'm not trying to press charges. I'm not trying to keep going coming back. So up. like just, the way this works is it's not whether you want to press charges or not. It's okay. kind of like the state of Georgia's press charges for you. Okay. And if she keeps doing this. Family. I mean, we can try our best to be understanding because she's drunk. Okay. And but that was that was pretty deliberate. Yeah. Was it? What happened right before that? She just woke up. She woke up. She peed. I made mean, sure she was okay, and then she laid in the floor. The man explained that his girlfriend had consumed excessive alcohol the previous night, leading to her loud and disruptive behavior. The disturbance caused distress within the community, prompting them to contact the police. The officer's intervention aimed at restoring peace and resolving the situation. The thing that we call it, because it was getting very loud, there was a lot of shit being thrown, nope, that was stuff being thrown. I just kind of got a hint. If she goes back to bed, I hope she just stays asleep. I think it was just she had to throw up. That usually, I mean, I Walk her up and help her get better, I'm sure. Okay. I think we gotta. I think we gotta go to 95. She broke a fan. Yeah. She got a bathrobe around here somewhere. She has clothes. I can get her. I can give her something. Okay. Yeah, that'd be good. Are y'all taking her in? Yeah. I love that all the men around here. Madison, please. 
Will you be quiet? So I don't know how it's going, how stuff is going to end in court and stuff, but I mean, our hands are literally tied because of that. There's nothing we can do. I mean, it's not really. I I get it, but it's a it's broken. So and she did it, and y'all are together. Y'all live together. Y'all in a relationship. So like I said, it's it's we are legally we legally have to do. That. During the investigation, the female, displaying heightened aggression, defiantly rejected any attempt at communication. She appeared indifferent to the officer's instructions and provocatively chose to wear only undergarments, claiming she intended to sleep. I don't think I can if they're going to file a report file regardless because it's in the minutes. You have to go with them. What, what are you going to do? Wait, shine a flashlight on me? That's really scary. Okay. Are there any are there any weapons in the house, boss? Yeah, there are a lot of weapons. And where where do those? You don't have to go to them. Just wonder where there is. I put my knives in the drawer. Yeah. You got lots of guys. You got guns everywhere. Put my gun in there. I have a carry weapons license. That's fine. No, that's fine. Everybody got a gun. Everybody got a gun. Everybody got a gun. Is there any guns over by the bed? It's fine. It's fine. It's him. He has a gun. Okay, Madison, I need you to get off the bed and come over here. I'm asleep. Madison, I'm not going to be nice about this because there's a gun under the bed. So you need to get off the bed and come over here right now. All right, I'm asleep, baby. Okay, we're going to drag you off the bed right now because there's a gun underneath it and I can't have you laying around on it. Oh, are you serious? I'm very serious. Get off the bed now. Mm -hmm. Can we just put some clothes on? Hey. What difference is it going to make? Maybe, oh, please, you put some clothes can you, can you just not? Can you just fucking not? Okay. Works, like, can you put clothes on? Yeah, can you fucking get out of the bedroom? Jesus fucking Christ. No, we're not letting you go in there by yourself because they're weapons. Stop! 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 Despite the officer's request for cooperation, she adamantly refused, asserting her right to act as she pleased and insisting on not listening to anyone. The officer faced the challenge of dealing with an individual determined to assert her own perceived rights, adding complexity to the situation. Balancing the need for resolution and maintaining order. Get some clothes Hand on. Handcuffs. Handcuffs. Get. Just let me do them. Can I? You feel big. You feel big. I'm trying to keep you away from you're the felony so obstruction so charge big. for kicking me in the balls. Maddie, please stop. Oh my God, you're so in control, Miss J. Maddie, please stop. He's so. It's He's like, trying you got, to uh, keep handcuffed keys. Yeah. Dude. Oh, that's going to be tight enough to when you switch the yeah, they'll, oh, they'll go tight. Oh, you're so dangerous. Oh, you're so dangerous. Can you, like, get this together? Like, you can't control a small lady talking in handcuffs? You can't get that together? Maddie, shut up. Baby. Stop! You're Stop. making this worse for what, yourself. What's gonna, what's gonna be worse, baby? I still kind of like a bathrobe or something with yeah. your shoulders. It's cold. Enough. Yeah, it's too sexy for you, isn't it? It's too sexy. He likes it too much. I mean, it's not my my fucking volume. It's, it's a ninety-five. Like, no, it's not, baby. It's not. It's not your fault. I'm not mad at you about it. I mean, it's comfortable enough in here. Once we go outside, it's going to be chilly. The situation intensified as the female left the scene to go to her room for sleep. When an officer entered her room to request her cooperation, she emerged with extreme aggression, engaging in physical confrontation and loud speech. Despite the officer's efforts to understand the reasons behind her shouting and aggressive behavior, she vehemently resisted cooperation. I don't give a f buddy, okay? Okay, I know you don't. So, are you gonna be cool and put these on? So, ask me one more time. Probably not. Maybe That's a no. Put. I mean, we can take you out there like you are. I don't care. I'm I'd already, like to. I'd I'm like already, to treat you with some I, dignity. Do I but have any decency left? Do I? I? I don't know. I'm trying to preserve whatever dignity you feel you have. Mm, okay, I think we're leaving. We tried. All right, let's go. Yo, stop. Don't do that. Don't do that. Can you keep up? You need to stop, man. You've been ridiculous. Yeah,
The officers faced a challenging scenario, attempting to maintain control and gather essential information while dealing with the woman's unyielding resistance. The incident underscores the complexities law enforcement encounters in managing confrontational situations. What exactly is happening? Yeah, fair. Okay, so uh, she's getting arrested on the original charge of uh, criminal trespass property, family violence. She's also going to catch the obstruction charge because she kicked me in the balls. We're not going to charge her with the felony obstruction for hitting a police officer while they're effecting a lawful arrest because... Well, she's drunk, and I understand drunk people make silly choices. Um, that's pretty much where we're at. Um, you know, you've got, I'm supposed to advise you of your victim's rights, family violence relationship. athens Clark County has a number of resources available to you. My favorite person is Project Safe. If you need help relocating, or if you need help getting her relocated, they can help with that too. If you guys decide you no longer want to live together. She, she doesn't. I know, she, when she's sober, it's different. And... Well, she's just, she's just here for me. I get you. Do you guys live together? No, no. This this is mine. She has her residence at home. Um, like I said, we're here. She was up here. Her birthday was the 16th, which was last Tuesday. We went skydiving Wednesday. She came back with me and my sister to attend this party. Gotcha. Um, All right. Well, hey, good news. Maybe we can skip the charge on the breaking of the fan if you guys don't live together. How long has she been staying here? Uh, I mean, we got here Thursday. I mean, that's when, that's when got we got you. Here. You live here? This is your I residence? Did, yeah, this is where I've lived. Where's she live at? Years. She, um... You get, like, this is, like, fun for you, for your job, but, like... Shut the fuck up. Maybe something else for you. They're not folks like that. They don't have nothing. I'm not joking, do The woman's boyfriend implored her to cooperate with the officers, emphasizing the importance of resolving the situation. The plea from both her boyfriend and his father underscored the significance of collaboration with law enforcement to bring about a resolution and prevent further complications for all involved parties. As far as I, I guess sentencing, what does that look like? Mm, that's a question for the judge in the court. Um, in Athens Clark County, tends to be a fairly lenient county. I suspect she'll get probation. She'll probably get bonded out tonight. Okay. Well, um, this morning. What time does it open up? I do not know. Sorry. Is um, it just like the jail or just the court? Or... Yeah, uh, she's going to go to jail tonight, and then she'll see a judge most likely in the morning. Okay. Well, they may not hold her for that long. They'll probably wait until she's a little more sober before they let her bond out, though. You have any idea what the bond is? I don't. If it's her first offense, she's never done anything like this. It might even be an OR bond. She might not have to pay any money. We'll have to see. That's their domain. In Athens Clark County, with the sheriff's office handles basically all of the jail stuff, and we handle all the road stuff. Amidst the escalating situation, the officers decided to arrest her. However, her response was combative, as she not only resisted arrest, but also engaged in physical altercations with the officers. Additionally, she resorted to using offensive language, further intensifying the confrontation. Wallet or a phone here that we can send along with her. Yes. Um, okay, just move slow. Much appreciated. I don't know if it's charged. It's okay, they can charge it at jail. I just wanted to be able to get phone numbers off it when she sobers up. Okay, well, it's not, again, it's not critical. I just, I like to give people options. I know right now she's being belligerent and difficult, but I'm sure when she's sober, I want to empower her to make better choices at that time. Mm, okay, let's take a look. Does she have any medical history we need to know about? Um, she has, she does deal with... And I guess. Seen that. This, uh, okay. Some some mental health consumer yeah, stuff. Going yeah, on. There's, yeah, there's there's there is um, mental health stuff that she deals with. That's why I didn't know if maybe the amount of alcohol when uh, her prescription. This aggressive behavior 
added complexity to the law enforcement's task, requiring them to manage both the physical resistance and verbal hostility while ensuring the safety of everyone involved. The incident highlighted the challenges officers face in maintaining control during confrontational arrests. You're going to fall and get hurt. We don't want that to happen. Let's go. Nope. Nope. Just don't get any close. Just deal with it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we tried. You said you didn't want him. Oh, I don't give a that hurts my feelings deeply. Yeah, you're a bastard, so that's... Okay. You want me to take? <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> oh, we don't want to go with Sonny over here? Come on, we're going over here. Oh, we don't want to go with Sonny over here? We don't We love that coat. Probably got bed bugs in here. Passenger seat. Alright. Uh, I'll do the ABR. Alright, man. What you doing? They don't live together, so we're just doing obstruction. They don't live together? No, they don't live together. She don't stay there often? No. Not them to wild shark. Really? Really. Shit. But she's just catching the obstruction for going back into the room that we knew there were guns in after we told her not to. As the room investigation unfolded, the cooperative demeanor of the female's boyfriend stood out, guiding the officer through details to unravel the mystery behind the female's involvement in conflicts. His willingness to assist shed light on the underlying reasons. However, within this collaborative atmosphere, the female's aggressive behavior added a layer of complexity. Despite the boyfriend's cooperation, her intense emotions hinted at deeper issues. The officer navigated through this contrasting dynamic striving to comprehend the intricate web of motivations and emotions entwined in the unfolding narrative. All right, here we go. So you're going to take her for going back into the room? I'm going to take her for obstruction. Yeah. All right. I thought, was, I thought she lived there. I thought so, too. He might be lying about that now to try and get her out of charge, but... We should have never told him, because he's a lawyer, so... No, look, I, I'm not about catching people out, you know, yeah. like... As soon as I told him it's a statue, he started thinking. Yeah. He was yeah. like, oh, how do I get her out of this? I saying she never lived there. But, like I said, she's she had a lot of clothes there. She's going on the obstruction charge. Yeah, yeah, she does have a lot of clothes there. I suspect she lives there. All we have to do is, all you have to do is articulate that she lives there based off what we saw. Yeah, I don't like making, I don't like reaching for stuff, especially when there's a real clear cut obstruction charge right here. Yeah. All right then. I'll mention it to the judge. I'll explain. I'll explain the situation to the judge because it might be that what they want to do is uh, flag it family violence so that they can put in the appropriate safeguards, uh, even though the charge itself isn't a family violence charge. I've, I've yeah. seen them do that before. Yeah. All right, man. I'll see you in a bit. All right. Five seven central. Rock 600, one female, starter mileage 116495. I get a call though, right? Yeah, when you get in the car. I mean, get in at the jail. Yeah. I'm gonna be redeeming on that shit, so get ready for it. Get your phone out, Shawnee. I know y'all like it. Take it out your little device. Hell yeah, man. Walking in a winter wonderland. 
Despite the resistance and confrontation, the officers managed to successfully arrest her, restraining her and placing her into the police car. Subsequently, she was transported to the police station for processing. The officers' ability to carry out the arrest demonstrated their commitment to enforcing the law and maintaining order, even in challenging circumstances. The arrest aimed to address the disruptive behavior and ensure a thorough investigation into the events that transpired during the domestic dispute. Upon reaching the police station, her aggressive behavior persisted, mirroring the conduct displayed at home. She continued to speak loudly and employed offensive language, creating a challenging atmosphere for law enforcement. 57 Central, out of 600, final 500. Am I allowed to get out, sir? Yeah, I'm going over here. Could I please come out? I have my eye mask, sir. Can I have it back on my head? Come on, let's go. Can I have it back on my head? It's freezing out here. I would like a little bit of, you know, warmth. You just got, you, you got me with your little lip there, buddy. Two seconds, can you? You got it? You gotta make it through? 
You tough enough, buddy? Jesus Christ, like nobody here. Buddy, like, figure it out. What size do you wear? I'm a nine. And women's? Yes, ma'am. Probably can't figure it out. This behavior not only posed difficulties for the officers, but also indicated the continuation of emotional distress. The police station environment would require careful handling to manage her behavior while ensuring a thorough and fair processing of the situation within the confines of legal procedures. You want to check my bubble for some good stuff? No. Right, she... Let's later on. I don't have any good stuff in my bubble. What? Man, we tried like four times. We tried, man. She said, F it. So we tried again. Then she was like, F it again. So I'm like, okay, great. She just released him. How's she going home? He'll probably bring clothes for her. We would give her a disposable phone. Oh. Don't mind. Oh, I got your right here. Oh. No, she was at home. Drunk at the house. She never made it out. Oh. Made it out. Obstruction. Just obstruction of evidence? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. She needs some help in that. Subsequently, she was presented to the court, facing numerous charges including alcohol consumption, involvement in a loud domestic dispute, and using offensive language against law enforcement officers. The array of charges reflected the multifaceted nature of her actions during the incident. The court proceedings would likely involve a thorough examination of the evidence and circumstances, emphasizing the legal consequences of her behavior and the need for resolution in accordance with the established legal framework. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To stay updated on our future videos, click on the notification bell icon after subscribing. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.